There we go, decoration's gone. <laughs> Plus, ship us a large letter, easy peasy. Hello and welcome back to my office on a very cold, wet and rainy Sunday afternoon. It's really dark outside. It's, it's middle of the afternoon, but it's tipping it down. So I thought I'd put a short video out, a bit of an update on where I'm at with my listing challenge because I left the last video, I had reached my target of 20 new listings a day and I said I was gonna carry on and try and get some more done. So where did I get to? I ended up with exactly 40, 40 new listings. And I'm not gonna do many today, but I have been doing some research on something and I thought I'd share that with you because I've been surprised. Um, so what did I manage to get done yesterday? So the Skylanders went on at 50 and they have now sold. Um, tomorrow is a bank holiday, I believe. So I think next shipping day is going to be Tuesday. Um, but those sold for 50 straight away. Um, the big stack of CDs that I showed in that video. What I did in the end was I did three bundles of 15. Uh, some really nice stuff in here actually. Um, I was so tempted to keep picking out CDs and keeping them for myself. But I have so many CDs and I use Spotify these days so I was resisting the temptation. But I've done three bundles of mixed sort of 90s and 2000s alternative and indie rock that sort of stuff. And then I did pull out a bunch in the end and did some separately. Um, some of which have already sold, which is great. Um, I got the little badges on. Um, they made really nice pictures once I divided those up into, I think it was four lots of those little badges. Um, oh, I'll pop, pop a, yeah, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> I will pop a picture in here. It's a good little tip. I'm sure you do this already, but if you're taking pictures of small items or any item really, if you put a tape measure in the picture, hopefully you can see one of the pictures now, it makes it that much quicker and easier for the buyer to, to get an idea of the size of the item. Um, so I was using that little technique on those pictures, which worked out really well. Um, so yes, really productive, very happy with yesterday. And as I said, some of it has sold already, which is great. But what I wanted to share with you today, you may have seen in that last video, I was talking about these books. These are these kind of adventure, choose your own adventure books, etc. And I've sold them before. My sister has done really well buying and selling these. She's a bit of an expert in this niche. Um, but I've been surprised. These ones in particular are amazing. So I thought we'd quickly run through this and I will share what I found out. So let me perch you over there. Oh, I've still got my my one Christmas decoration up. Let's take that down. There we go, decoration's gone. <laughs> so these books, um, this unassuming little stack of books should do rather well. Oh, it's actually, these aren't all adventure ones. These are all the choose your own adventure. There's also the Doctor Who, I don't think really had any value. I think that might be on at five pounds. Uh, the Famous Five ones. I did some other Famous Five as well. Um, I think they're about five or each I've gone for. But these, so let's start with these choose your adventure ones. These are well worth having on your radar. Um, if you look at completed, there is a range of prices. These are the like the first versions of these, and most of these are actual first editions as well, which really does help. Um, they have the number on there. I don't know if you can see nine all the way down to one. Um, anyway, to cut a long story short, I've done £10 a book on those. One, two, three, four, 
five. I think all five of those have gone on at £10 a book, which I think should be achievable. I may have put offers on that as well. I may take a little bit left. These two that had um, condition issues, this one's the, the scruffiest of the lot. You can see the creasing and damage to the cover. I did a tenner on the pair of those two. But that is one, two, three, four, five, fifty. So sixty pounds worth there. And I think we paid twenty-five P a book on those. Crazy. Um this sword of the samurai I think is on for ten as well. These are fighting fantasy with the green band across the top. Very, very collected. This is a numbered series as well, same as those other ones. This is good, Way of the Tiger, Assassin. Not quite as much value, I think that's on at eight. But the star of this little show <coughs> was these. Now these come as a pair. This is Jewel Master 3, The Shattered Realm, and it's books one and two. And did a little bit of research and the only two that had sold recently, let me flip the view and I'll show you, are these two lots. So they're the same uh, pairs and this one went on bids at 32 plus shipping. Uh, this one had one bid but they started it at 25 plus shipping. Um, there's one available currently which is listed at 50 so I'm gonna go 40 pounds for my pair and see how I get on 40 pounds buy it now it's gonna be the idea on these this artist let me know what you think that looks like the artist who did the artwork for the um, Pratchett books for the Terry Pratchett books Discworld maybe Anyway, so they were a surprise, a nice surprise, but a surprise nonetheless. So as you can see, it soon adds up when you consider that that little pile of books that owes us, I don't know, three or four pounds or something. If we can sell it all at those prices, we'll bring back, you know, a hundred pounds plus. Crazy. Um, also a positive on these is super quick to list. Um, I've drafted these today. I'm going to do some pictures in a minute and get those listed super fast. I mean with these for example I was just using a, a well listing one and then doing sell similar from that same listing and, and just changing the titles etc. Really quick so very happy plus ship as a large letter easy peasy. So as I was saying before, it is a Sunday here and I won't be doing much work today. I'm just gonna get those books finished, get the photos added to the drafts, and get those active. And I just wanted to talk a bit about what I'm trying to achieve here, which is to, to shift the bulk. So I really need to start doing some more bulky stuff. It's all very well for me to list CDs and books that are quick and easy to list but they're not taking up much space. So I think next week I'm gonna to have to start forcing myself to pick out, I don't know, some bulky electronics, toys, what have we got in here? Radios, for example. Boxes full of, full of gubbins, all sorts of electronics. There's, there's a PS3 in here, needs a test wallpaper stripper this sort of stuff but what happens when you start dealing with that sort of stuff is you've got to set it all up test it clean it the photographs take a lot longer with the bigger bulkier items you know with with media for example it's super super quick to list and then the photo is kind of front back done but I need to force myself to start picking out the, the stuff up here. You know, I've still got projectors all over the place. Tools, what else have we got? These sort of things. Leather case up there. TVs. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to leave you there and get cracking, getting the photos done for these books. 
thank you so much for joining me. I will be live later on tonight, but for you that will be yesterday. So if you watched me, thanks. <laughs> I will grab another video from the backlog, from the backlog, that's the wrong word, from the archive and pop it up here. <laughs> oh dear. Check it out if you want to. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.